Lee from Victoria, Pat Martin from Winnipeg Center. He's my good luck charm. He was with us in Montreal on Friday, so we bring him along. Hello, Victoria! Harper, 
His number one priority is to transfer billions of dollars from the middle class to the wealthiest 15% through income splitting. We'll fix that too. We'll scrap his income splitting scheme and invest that money in middle class families right here in British Columbia. loopholes and transfer every dollar of that money to help lift children and their families out of poverty. I believe that a stronger middle class is vital to a stronger economy and a stronger Canada. I believe that to ensure cities like Victoria thrive and are affordable, Ottawa must become a stable, long-term partner for transit and affordable housing. I also believe that it's time to reward the job creators in BC and across Canada. You see, after years of giving Canada's largest and most profitable corporations billions and billions in tax breaks, it's time we rewarded small businesses who create 80% of the new jobs in this country. They're the backbone of our local communities. So, we proposed to lower the small business tax rate from 11 to 9%. Conservatives voted against it. Well, weeks later, they took our proposal and they put it in their budget. The problem is, nobody believes them. So let's just say this to small business operators here in British Columbia. Don't be fooled by Stephen Harper, because if he truly believed in giving you a tax break, and if he wanted to help you create new jobs, he wouldn't make you wait another three years before it came into effect. We actually support small business and we'll begin the tax reduction right away. I believe that government has no greater responsibility than to ensure the safety of the public. And government must also make decisions that are in the long-term interest of Canadians. These are values that have guided me in my 35 years of public service. These are the values that guided me as Quebec's Environment Minister, where I put in place Quebec's Sustainable Development Act. It requires the government to look at the environmental, social, and economic impacts before going forward with any project. It's one of my proudest moments in all those years of public service. That legislation remains the most comprehensive of its kind in all of North America. And you know what? It goes so far as to enshrine in the Quebec Charter of Rights the right to live in a clean and healthy environment, respectful of biodiversity, and provides a real tool to ensure rigorous enforcement. emissions each and every year. That's my record and I'm proud of it. In my time around the cabinet table, I've been front and center for the difficult decisions that are made in government day in and day out. Whether it's meeting premiers to improve our federation or with world leaders to discuss the global economy or security threats, being Prime Minister isn't an entry-level job. <laughs> you 
Brett Mainby team and I have the experience to defeat Stephen Harper and move Canada in the right direction. My offer to the voters of Vancouver Island is clear. I'm so proud to have a colleague like Murray who stands up for better patient care for all Canadians. An NDP government with Murray Rankin would restore the $36 billion that the Conservatives cut to health care transfer. praise from across the country for his fight against conservatives and liberals who tried to rush C-51 through Parliament. <laughs> and in the, the government with Randall Garrison would protect our security and our rights and would start by repealing C-51. <laughs> If you want a government that will bring about a better democracy with proportional representation, <laughs> and if you want a government that will bring real change in Ottawa, like we saw last week in Alberta, <laughs> then I invite you to join us in the NDP because we're the one party that can defeat Stephen Harper on October 19th. <laughs> My family story is that of millions of Canadians. Growing up the second oldest of 10 kids, we had to work for everything we had. It wasn't easy. We worked hard, played by the rules, and lived within our means. We learned the importance of looking out for one another, of sticking together, of backing up your principles with action. These are the values that guided me as a husband, as a father, and as a grandfather. These values have guided my 35 years of public service, including as a cabinet minister. These are the values that will guide me as your next prime minister. opportunities they need and our seniors get the benefits they deserve. <laughs> One that protects the rights and freedoms that Canadians hold so dear. <laughs> An NDP government will build a Canada where democratic traditions are respected at home and our reputation as a country is respected abroad. <laughs> Sénat off au Prix Pano Colombien. 
C'est notre offre aux Canadiens. Une vision claire et un projet de société axé autour du développement durable. Une vision pour protéger l'environnement tout en faisant croître notre économie. L'un ne va pas sans l'autre. Et les gens d'ici le savent bien. En travaillant ensemble, nous allons bâtir un Canada qui nous ressemble. Closer than ever to building the Canada of our dreams. Across Canada, you Democrats are gaining momentum. In Alberta, young people led the way. <laughs> Along with new Canadians and people who were tired of being taken for granted. Families who were tired of a government that ignored the fact that they are working harder but falling further behind. Progressives united to flex their political muscle and bring about the change that was years in the making. We did it in Quebec in 2011, we did it in Alberta last week, and we'll do it from coast to coast to coast on October 19th! engaging your neighbors. This is the kind of hard work that's going to get NDP MPs elected in every corner of Vancouver Island and across this great province. There is, there is no way. Let there be no doubt, the next campaign has already begun. So tell your neighbors that quality, affordable childcare is just an election away. <laughs> Spread the word that a stronger middle class and a stronger Canada is just an election away. <laughs> and tell your friends that with just a handful more seats starting right here on Vancouver Island, we will defeat Stephen Harper and build the Canada of our dreams. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get to work together.